Welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I am showcasing the latest release by Pinkfresh Studios. Now this is part of a blog hop, there are lots of giveaways, a coupon code and lots of inspiration, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the details. In this release they only have new dyes, jewels and crystals, so if you want a mix of jewels and crystals then you get them in this packaging, there are 12 in each packaging, in different colors, each one of those tiny pots includes different sizes of uh, those colors and there are four different uh, packages like this one if you go on their website to check out the colors. You can add these of course with a glue on top of your projects to add some sparkle or you can use them as your shaker mix inside shaker cards. Now let's take a look at the dies. These are the fancy label frames. You get 12 dies included here in different sizes, different shapes, perfect for creating little frames to add your focal points on top. You can create windows with them or even you can use them as labels and stamp your sentiments. Now this is something similar with the previous die set, again 12 dies, but this is called basic label frames. So depending on your style you can choose your favorite label frames. Now this is one of my favorites since I didn't have any like this one in my collection. It's called braided circles and I'm going to take all the dies out so you can see what you can do with them. I will be using these dies today and you will see some inspiration on how you can use those and mix and match them. Now as you can see you get uh, six dies all together. Two of them are circle dies and the rest are decorative ones that only cut out beautiful designs and you will see them in action later on today. Now this die is called Pretty Frames and it gives you lots of frames that you can use on your projects. I'm going to take it out of the packaging so you can see how unique this one is. It is actually one die but if you run it through your die cutting machine you will end up with a bunch of um, frames and I'm going to show you an example of what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to put it aside this one and let's move on to the lazy edgers. This is packed with borders. There are uh, five dies included and if you don't have any border dies like this one then this is a great stash because you get so many different variations. Now this is another die set, it's called braided tag and it gives you this unique shape of a tag along with uh, the hole at the top and it comes with two more decorative ties that you can uh, nest inside to give more interest on your cutout. Now just so you get an idea of what this die cuts out, once you run it through your die cutting machine you will end up with all those different frames that you can use to nest inside your focal points, to stamp inside your sentiments, so many different options here. So the idea behind this release is to grab dies that you really need in your stash and you will be using them again and again since they are very basic and versatile. So today I am going to use my favorite ones which are the braided circles. I am going to use three of them in this yellow cardstock. I am just nesting one inside the other and I am going to run them through my die cutting machine. So you can use those to create a lovely window where you can nest inside your focal points or your sentiment. The fun part is that you get the decorative dies so you can decorate the outside edge of your circle. Now as my focal point I'm going with this uh, stamp set by Pinkfresh Studios. This is a really fun stamp set and I'm going to use the giraffe. The design I'm going for would work with any focal point, just stamp your favorite image. Here I'm not using a black to stamp my giraffe, instead I'm combining a couple of inks. This is a great technique because it provides some kind of color on your stamped image, but at the same time you don't have to color inside the lines, so it's quick and easy. Now I have everything ready to go, I used foam tape at the back of my yellow panel and all the sentiments come from the same stub set as the giraffe. I'm going to use foam scores at the back of my focal points just to add some dimension. It's a quick and simple card to make but uh, those uh, decorative dies really make a difference and gives that uh, interesting factor on my card. Now on the inside of that circle of that window I'm going to add some of the jewels that uh, come from this release. They are going to make my card even more special by adding that sparkle. And of course you can easily turn this idea, this design into a shaker card if you like. Here are some close-up photos on this card where I used those circles to create a window. 
Now on the next card I'm going to use the circles to create a panel where I'm going to add the focal points on top. So again I nested three that I wanted to use, I'm going to run them through my die cutting machine and here is the panel that I end up having. There are many different ways to use this panel on your card, you can stick it at the center like I'm going to do in this card, you can always offset it and cut out a part of it, so many different ways to create different styles. Now as my focal points I went with stamps from the Enjoy the Journey stamp set, this is by Pink Fresh Studio from a previous release. I have uh, stamped my images, colored them with my alcohol markers and cut them out with the matching ties and now I'm just putting everything together. Now I am also going to add a little cloud down and for my sentiment I went with um, one that says thanks for being you that I white embossed at the center of my circle. The sentiment comes from another stamp set which is called uh, Simply Succulents, one of my favorites again from the previous releases and uh, as always you will find everything I'm using linked down below in the description area. Finally I added some of the gems in the same color as my cardstock and here are some close-up photos on the second card. Now I didn't want to turn this video super long since this is part of a blog hop and you need to visit the rest of the girls. But before I go I wanted to show you one more idea on how you can use these dies. Just use the decorative ones and this is going to give you a lovely place where you can add your sentiments. So here are the two cards that I made for today. Don't forget this is part of a blog hop, there are lots of giveaways and coupon codes on my blog. Make sure to visit the rest of the girls to win lots of prizes. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all tomorrow with another fun video.